Hey guys, it's Kayla and I am back with another new video. Today I want to talk all about how to save money. This is something that I have struggled with for a long time and it's something that I still struggle, struggle with, but I have found some tips and tricks that kind of helped me save more money than I have before and these things have all really helped me in the last few months. My first tip is really simple and it's just to start to track your spending. Creating a whole budget and limiting yourself in certain categories can be really complicated, especially when you're just starting out. So just start by tracking your spending, listing everything in a week that you spend each day. Say, I spent money on this, this, and this. It really makes you more conscious of the money you're spending and you are more aware of your bank account total and you're less likely to overspend. My second tip is to limit your spending to essentials and don't get down on yourself for spending money on the essentials. There are things you're going to need in life. You're going to pay probably for a gym membership. That's what I pay for. You're going to have to pay for food. You have to pay for shampoo and conditioner. Just basic life things you're going to have to buy. Maybe you can find the cheaper option in things or try and get it when it's on sale or on a deal, but you're going to have to buy these things. So don't get super upset and just try and limit yourself to those things. Don't go on shopping sprees all the time. On the other hand, you can't just only buy the essentials. My next tip is to treat yourself from time to time. If you are really strict and only buying the essentials and only buying the boring life things that you need to buy, you're gonna go berserk and go on a shopping spree and order stuff from five different places and spend way too much money. But if you make an effort to treat yourself, maybe if I spend less than $50 in the next two weeks, then I will treat myself to something under $20. So really l treating yourself but limiting your treats because if you don't treat yourself, you're gonna go crazy. You're just gonna buy everything in the world. But if you really treat yourself on specific items you want and save up for specific items you want, then you're going to be able to save money in the long run. My next tip is something I feel like most people do and have done since they were a kid, but it's just to collect any loose change you have and to put it all in a jar, put it all in a bag and cash it out. I have a huge bag of money that I need to go cash out. I don't even know how long I've had it. I don't even, I think I've had it since like the beginning of high school and it's just sitting there and when I cash it out, I'll probably have at least $50, probably more, and that's just gonna go in my bank account magically, and that's gonna save me money. You might be able to treat yourself with it. That's a good way to treat yourself if you save maybe all your dollar bills and all your change for three months, and then whatever you collect, go and spend. That is a good way to treat yourself, and it never comes out of your bank account, really, so it feels like it's fake money. My next tip is not something that I've done this year because I haven't bought my own food other than on the weekends, but it is something I'm planning to do once I move into my house in the next few weeks, and it is to meal plan. Meal plan will help you save money because you're not gonna overspend on groceries. You're gonna have a plan of what you wanna make. You're gonna know exactly how much you're gonna eat in the week, and you won't buy a bunch of fresh produce that's going to go bad. That's just throwing away money and it's bad for the environment. It's bad for your bank account. It's just meal plan or at least make a conscious effort to use all your food before it goes bad because that will save you money and you may not even think about it. My last tip is to use apps or sites that give you cash back or save you money. I made a whole video about this a few months ago about apps and sites that I use, so I'll make sure to link that down below. But using these cash back sites, you may not think you get that much money back, but you can get a lot of money. When I do spend money on sites like Forever 21, H&M, those kind of things, it's just gonna give me cash back. A lot of those apps are really simple and they just give you straight cash back for shopping. And it really does save you money. And if you're going to spend money and treat yourself, you might as well get a little bit back and it will add up. Those are all my tips on how to save money. If you found this video helpful or you just liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below if you have any other ways that you like to save money. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new because I post many videos a week and I'm so excited to create lots of content this summer. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Oh!